Uh, the great uh, Pat Riley once said, uh, no rebounds, no rings. Um, last game, you, you guys were uh, out rebounded on the defensive boards, uh, 45 uh, rebounds uh, for Denver. What, what do you guys think you need to fix to, to, to alleviate that, that gap? Uh, <clears throat> force them into difficult shots and, and when they miss, get the rebound. <laughs> Mark, back left. Uh, Mark Spears, ESPN Tanscape. Uh, how, what's it like being around Tyler right now? Where is his spirits at? And I mean, can you imagine just kind of mentally what he's going through, not being able to participate at this level? And uh, have some hope that he will get to. Considering I've, I've been in that position, the, the first finals, uh, having to sit and watch your team, you know, go through that battle and, and try to figure it out without, without you. But I think he's in, he's in good spirits. Uh, you know, he's definitely inching his way back. Uh, but, you know, it, the biggest thing is him getting healthy uh, at the end of the day. So we want him to be fully healthy. You know, so when he does return, if he does, uh, we'll have that same Tyler, you know, during the season where he was being that, that, that bucket getter that we, we, we know him for. I can't hear you, bro. How did I get through it? Yeah. Uh, I mean, me personally, it was just I had to be on the court in a different way. Uh, so that was me talking on the bench me giving energy, uh, anything I could do that was, that will put me as close on the court as possible. Dan here on the right. Dan Devine, Yahoo Sports. Uh, the way that Jokic shoots the ball, I, I imagine creates some challenges for when you're deciding like how hard to close, when to close short. Is what goes into that decision-making process for you? I know it got you on the pump and go a couple times last game. What goes into that decision-making process? Uh, there's Kyle. <laughs> uh, biggest thing is just read and react. Uh, easier said than done, obviously, but, you know, pretty much read and react and watching film. Joe on the left, front. Hey, Ben, Joe Varden from The Athletic. There's been a few times throughout the playoffs when you guys have faced some adversity, and Spo says, well, we're fine. We have a gnarly team. What is gnarly team? What do you think that means? Like, what, what, <laughs> why would he say that? Uh, one, it's Spo. <laughs> so that's only that's only a spo term, uh, but <clears throat> we've been through so much this season, uh, ups, downs, goods, bad. Uh, a lot of you in here probably never thought we would be in this position right now. Uh, so I feel like that's what he means when he says a gnarly team. Michael up front. Uh, Michael Peter the Ringer. Uh, your screens are such an important part of Miami's offense. I'm just wondering, does it matter who the ball handler is and how you set them, and just how have you improved as a as a screen setter throughout your career? Watching film, watching some of the great screen, uh, and then obviously the way we run offense. Uh, it's a everybody's involved, everybody's prepared, and everybody's ready to rock. So <clears throat> one through five. Uh, are live. So my screens is the biggest thing is to get the guy open because if he's live, that makes me live, that makes everybody else live, and uh, uh, that's a that's a good recipe for success. Over here on the right aisle, uh, Mark Starr with Miami Times. Uh, UD and uh, Nikola Jovic, uh, their birthdays are both on Friday. I'm curious, are you getting them the same birthday gift, or how do you differentiate uh, what, what do you get them? Mm. I didn't even think about that. What's today? Wow, that's tomorrow. Uh, you don't got a lot of time for that. Um, <clears throat> uh, I don't know what I'll be getting them. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're, they're fine. <laughs> if we don't get them anything, uh, the biggest thing is we'll, both, we'll, we'll be playing on their birthday. So, you know, Coming in this building and getting a win, I feel like they'll both be happy with that. Got last two, Tim and then Rob behind him. Bam, it's not technically a must win tomorrow, but you know the reality of what it will be like going down 3-1. How do, you, how do you balance that need to say, I got to do more 
without trying to do too much or putting it all on yourself or Jimmy putting it all on him or Gabe putting it all on him? Like, how does that, how's that balance within the framework of the team? You trust one another to do their job. And you let the chips fall where they lay. Uh, you trust one through five, one through 15. Uh, you trust the staff. And everybody has a belief that you can't get that job done. And if everybody has that belief and everybody comes with the right mindset, Next that's row. how you can get it done. Next row back, Rob. Uh, Bam, Rob Mahoney from The Ringer. I know you talked about the rebounding differential earlier, but with the variety of defenses you guys play between the zones and the two on the ball and switching, how do you think about rebounding differently out of those different schemes? Do you have to change anything in terms of how you're approaching it? No. Nah, you see a person, they shoot the ball, you see who's closest to you, you box them out, and everybody run for the rebound. Thank you, Bam. Thank you. Jimmy will be right up. All right, there is Bam, and there he was earlier talking to Jimmy Butler, who we'll hear from, as well as many other guys on the Heat as they get ready for Game 4 back in Miami.